In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to integrate ConvertKit with Elementor so that you are in position to collect your email subscribers or leads into your ConvertKit account. Of course, you should have ConvertKit or even a trial account still works well. And on the other hand, you should have Elementor. And the moment I have Elementor Pro because I'm actually going to use the pop-up feature provided by Elementor. So welcome to the tutorial. The first thing we are going to do, of course, we have to be logged into our Elementor website. And then we are going to come to settings, integrations, and right down there, we're going to scroll and look up for ConvertKit, which is right over here. Now, here is where we have to feed in our API key. You either click over here and go get your API key, or you can simply log into your ConvertKit account, come over here, then go straight to general, and scroll down here and you'll see something called API key. Then you can simply copy this API key and paste it over right here then simply come down here and hit save changes however there is another way that we can integrate convert kit with our elementor website without necessarily feeding in our api key right at this step and how do we do that once you come over here to your opt-in form that you have created it can be an inline or it can be a pop-up or a sign-in form uh, embedded somewhere on your website in this case i have a pop-up so when you come over here click on that widget for the opt-in form and then come straight here under actions and under actions you have to click over there and look up for convert kit which is over here and automatically you'll get another tab down here click over there and of course here you have another option to enter in your api key so the first one is default the default api key will automatically echo the api key that we have entered in right here that is if you have already saved and that means that you won't have to enter in an api key at this step however if you want to use another account or basically to feed in your api key directly on this form well and good that's good to go you can simply come back to convert kit copy your api key come back to elementor and then paste in your api key right over there the good thing is that convert kit will directly or immediately echo all the available sign up forms or learning pages that have been already created in convert kit and how do you do that basically this is the form where all your leads or signups will be saved and this is how it looks like when you come over here to convert kit and come right over here to landing pages and forms automatically all your landing pages will be listed over here we can create a new landing page or a form by clicking over here to create new and then you can select whether you want to create a landing page or a form so we select a form and you can select any of these over here i prefer to use an inline and i can say maybe da -da -da, this over here the one called pine and that's all i have to do and now what i'm going to do is simply save now once i save i come back here to elementor and i'm going to simply just update here once I update, I'll reload this page. I'll click over here on our form widget, come right here to convert kit. And then when we click here on the form, we will see that now we have our new form that we created reflected. Select that form. And then the field mapping is basically what fields you are having over here on your sign up form. If you have another field over here, maybe telephone number or whatever field you've added, that field mapping enables you to collect all the details right under here on your form so make sure that the fields you have over here are also reflected over here on your opt-in form so by coming back over here we're going to map the email field to the email address and the first name to your name of course we have both those fields over here first name and the email address okay looks good now once you're done simply update now once you update now I'm going to go right to our live website, open it up in a new tab. Before we actually display our pop-up, let me show you the pop-up settings that we already made up or that I have already set up for this pop-up to display. So by coming over here to the display conditions, I made my pop-up to display on the entire site. And under triggers, I made it to display on scroll down 50% of the page. So when I scroll this page down 50% of the page, my pop-up will show up. So boom, there we go. 
so now our website visitor will be able to enter in his email and name so that they can easily subscribe to our newsletter or basically to join our email list so here i'll enter in the names let me say it's hamza and his email address is this over here i'm presuming i'm the subscriber to this website now i have subscribed to the website so how do you know that actually someone has subscribed to your website first of all these people will have to go and confirm their subscription that subscriber will go right to his inbox and sometimes your subscriber will have to check the spam box okay i'm seeing the email over here confirm your subscription boom now i have confirmed my subscription to that website now once my subscription is confirmed now you the website owner you'll simply come over here or you will go back to your website or your forms and by clicking over here on landing page and forms you'll see that specifically to that landing page or the form that you created it will have another subscriber you come over here to reports you realize that i have one subscriber over here when i click on the one subscriber boom you realize that it's someone called hamza using this email and then subscribed on this date and they confirmed their status so in a nutshell that's how you can integrate elementor and convert kit so that you can start getting your email subscribers right within your convert kit email list thank you so much for watching in case you have any questions comments please let me know down in the comment box below otherwise have a good time see you in the next one